Hi, welcome to Sherman Street Community Garden. I'm Alice Davis, one of the community gardeners here. We've been here for 10 years. Uh, I'm a coordinator along with Hazel Brown, and we have eight adult gardeners and a large number of youth gardeners here. I'm going to show you my two beds first. Uh, here we've just pulled out the early spring things and uh, the, where you see the white uh, blanket type of thing, that's row cover, which is protecting uh, the recently turned earth from the squirrels and the cats uh, until the plants get big and green enough to uh, make the area unattractive to them. We have uh, lettuce here and, and some beets and carrots and a few remaining spring greens and you see a tomato plant and a pepper plant. In my two beds, I've been building up the soil for the last 10 years using homemade compost, and the soil is really lovely here. You can see the beautiful kale and Swiss chard that we're growing. The purple bulbs in the middle are kohlrabi, a vegetable that some people are not familiar with. We have some lemon balm next to the kohlrabi. It's a very aggressive plant, so you want to be careful where you put it because it will take over, but we like to have it here because it's an insect repellent. Sometimes we'll crush up the leaves and wipe it on our, um, uh, behind our ears and necks and um, around our wrists to, to try and keep the bugs at bay. The asparagus bed uh, is beautiful in the summertime with the fern rising up. It's hard to find things uh, that are compatible to grow in the same bed with asparagus, but we found that it tolerates lettuce very well. So we've planted lettuce around the edges. Um, to make the asparagus happy. We also have some dill in here. The children from the Walnut Street YMCA summer day camp are gardening the next two beds. Uh, that's part of our intergenerational emphasis here at uh, Sherman Street. They have uh, some lovely squash that you can see, some tomatoes, um, other a number of other crops, and um, this is fun. They've got corn a lot of urban gardeners don't grow corn because it's so prone to pests and so on. But uh, I salute their courage in uh, putting out corn. And I see that there's um, an ear forming down here with silk, corn silk. So I'm hoping that they'll have a good result. Mrs. Brown has uh, grown the onions for our garden this year. And you see how lovely they are. They, uh, some of them have already started to bloom which means that shortly we'll be harvesting them when the tops die back. She's got tomatoes and some other things growing here and finally uh, cabbage plants, very healthy looking cabbage plants. These healthy looking pepper plants are growing in a mixture of soil and homemade compost. They are in barrels this year because we have to move the peppers and the tomatoes uh, to a new location every year uh, to prevent any uh, Soil, soil borne diseases from previous years catching up with them. Uh, so this is the prepper's year to spend in the barrels and uh, they're obviously enjoying this location very much. These thornless blackberries are a real summer treat. They're going to be ripe probably starting in the next two or three weeks. We're looking forward with great anticipation to the blackberries. And this brings us to um, Another one of the uh, gardeners uh, who has uh, grown quite a few lovely greens here and is, her squash is starting to come into flower. Carrots, parsley, uh, some broccoli. So um, she's transitioning right into summer. This bed is part of Central Baptist's uh, efforts. Central Baptist has a weekly farmer's market and Mike Miner and others are growing vegetables for that market. And here are the tomatoes. You see this is one of the extra tall beds, uh, which gives the tomato roots uh, a chance to go down a little further. The Sherman Street Children's Garden is in, I think, its eighth year of operation. This is their growing bed this year. Uh, it looks like they have some kale planted here on the end, tomato plants, squash, and there's a squash already in bloom. They are really headed into the summer with some good prospects for harvest. These potatoes may look downtrodden or drought-stricken to the uninitiated, but in fact, this is a happy look because the tops are dying back and that means it's almost time to harvest the potatoes. As soon as these uh, keel over just a little more, we'll be in there with the pitchforks digging out delicious, fresh potatoes. <laughs> 